Have you ever pondered over a question so complex that it seemed to contradict itself? That's a paradox for you. Paradoxes, my dear friends, are fascinating phenomena that challenge our understanding of logic and reality. They are statements or problems that defy our intuition by appearing to contradict themselves, yet they are not necessarily false or unsolvable. Imagine a rabbit hole that leads not to Wonderland, but to a labyrinth of mind-twisting conundrums. Today, we'll be journeying through this labyrinth, exploring five of the most riveting paradoxes known to humanity. From the intriguing enigmas of ancient philosophers to the confounding quandaries posed by modern science, these paradoxes promise to dazzle your intellect and tickle your curiosity. They are puzzles that have perplexed some of the greatest minds throughout history, and yet they remain as captivating as ever. So are you ready? Buckle up as we dive into the world of mind-boggling paradoxes. Our first stop takes us back to ancient Greece with Zeno's paradox. This paradox, conceived by Zeno of Elea, is one of the oldest and most perplexing brain teasers in the history of human thought. It involves a series of tasks, each one appearing simple on the surface. But when you delve deeper, you discover that they are seemingly impossible to complete. Imagine this, you want to walk to the other end of a room. Simple enough, right? But according to Zeno, before you can get there, you first have to get halfway. And before you can get halfway, you have to get a quarter of the way, and before that, an eighth of the way, and so on. This creates an infinite series of tasks you need to accomplish before you can reach the end of the room. This is what's known as Zeno's dichotomy paradox, one of several motion paradoxes attributed to him. Now, you might be thinking, but I walk across rooms all the time, how can this be impossible? And you're right, in the practical world, we do complete such tasks. But Zeno's paradox isn't about the practical world. It's a philosophical and mathematical conundrum that challenged the very concept of motion. By presenting a task as an infinite series of smaller tasks, Zeno argued that motion was an illusion. He proposed that the concept of infinity made any physical movement impossible, as it would require the completion of an infinite number of steps. Zeno's paradox has been a topic of intense debate among philosophers, mathematicians and scientists for over 2,000 years. This paradox is a testament to the power of thought experiments and the role they play in pushing the boundaries of our understanding. Despite the paradox's apparent contradiction, it has inspired countless breakthroughs in the fields of mathematics and philosophy, particularly in our understanding of infinity. Zeno's paradox, a classical conundrum challenging our understanding of motion and infinity, is a striking example of how a seemingly simple question can lead us down a rabbit hole of infinite complexity. And yet, it's these very questions that push us to refine our understanding and perception of the world. So let's keep questioning and exploring, for the world is filled with intriguing paradoxes just waiting to be unraveled. Zeno's Paradox, a classical conundrum challenging our understanding of motion and infinity. Next, we journey to the realm of set theory with the Barber Paradox. Picture this. In a small town, there's a barber who has a peculiar rule. He shaves those, and only those, who do not shave themselves. Seems simple enough, right? But here's where things get tricky. Who shaves the barber? If he shaves himself, then according to his rule, he shouldn't be shaving himself. But if he doesn't shave himself, well, then he must shave himself, because that's his rule. This is the essence of the barber paradox, a head-scratcher that will make you question the very foundations of logic. This paradox was introduced by the British philosopher and logician Bertrand Russell in the early 20th century. At its core, the barber paradox is a question about sets. In mathematics, a set is a collection of distinct objects considered as an object in its own right. Russell proposed the Barber Paradox to challenge the then-prevailing set of all sets theory. He argued that if we allow a set of all sets that do not contain themselves, then we are faced with a contradiction. This set seems to both contain itself and not contain itself, depending on how we look at it. This contradiction, according to Russell, showed that our understanding of sets was fundamentally flawed. The Barber Paradox is more than just an amusing conundrum. It represents a significant problem in the foundation of mathematics, specifically set theory. It sparked a great deal of debate and led to the development of new mathematical theories that aim to avoid such contradictions. So the next time you're at the barbers, ponder this paradox. 
It might not help you decide on a haircut, but it will certainly give you a glimpse into the complex and sometimes counterintuitive world of mathematical logic. The Barber Paradox, a hair-raising problem that questions the foundation of set theory. From the confines of a barbershop, we now venture into the cosmos with the twin paradox. A fascinating concept that navigates the intricate realms of Einstein's theory of relativity, the twin paradox presents a thought-provoking riddle about the nature of time itself. Imagine this, a pair of identical twins, each with an identical, perfectly calibrated clock. One twin, let's call him Earth Twin, decides to stay on our home planet, while the other, Space Twin, embarks on a high-speed journey to a distant star and back. According to the theory of relativity, time should move slower for the twin on the spaceship due to the high speed of his travel. This phenomenon is known as time dilation. So, when Space Twin returns to Earth, he would find that his Earth-bound brother has aged more than he has. While this might sound like a great way to cheat time, it poses a conundrum that has puzzled scientists for decades. Why should the traveling twin age slower than the stationary one? After all, from the perspective of Space Twin, isn't it Earth Twin who is moving away at high speed and thus should age slower? To resolve this, we turn to another aspect of Einstein's theory, the equivalence of inertial frames. This means that there is no preferred frame of reference in the universe and the laws of physics are the same for all observers in non-accelerating frames. However, the journey of Space Twin is not inertial. He accelerates when he leaves Earth, decelerates at the star, and then accelerates and decelerates again on the return trip. These changes in motion break the symmetry of the situation, causing the time dilation effect. But it doesn't end there. The paradox becomes even more complex when we consider the effects of gravity on time. According to the theory of general relativity, the stronger the gravitational field, the slower time passes. So during the periods when Space Twin is close to Earth or the distant star, his clock would tick slower than when he's in deep space, adding another layer to the time differential. The twin paradox, therefore, is not a true paradox in the sense that it contradicts the laws of physics. Instead, it highlights the profound ways in which our understanding of time and space is challenged by the predictions of relativity. It serves as a reminder that the universe is a place of extraordinary wonders, where the familiar can become strange, and the simple act of moving from one place to another can lead to the most unexpected of consequences. The twin paradox, a cosmic conundrum that bends our perception of time. We stay in space for our next paradox, the Fermi paradox. Named after physicist Enrico Fermi, this paradox grapples with the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact or evidence for such civilizations. Now consider the vastness of the cosmos. There are, by conservative estimates, two trillion galaxies in the observable universe, each with hundreds of billions of stars. And around these stars orbit countless planets, many of which could potentially harbor life. Given these staggering numbers, it would seem almost inevitable that there must be other civilizations out there, perhaps even ones more advanced than our own. The Drake Equation, proposed by Frank Drake in 1961, even gives us a mathematical way to estimate the number of advanced civilizations in our galaxy. And yet, despite all these calculations and probabilities, we have yet to receive a single confirmed signal from an extraterrestrial civilization. This is the crux of the Fermi paradox. Where is everybody? Several solutions have been proposed to this paradox. One is the great filter hypothesis. It suggests that at some point in the development of a civilization, there is a barrier or filter that is exceptionally hard to surpass. This could be anything from a natural disaster such as a supernova to self-inflicted catastrophes like nuclear war or environmental collapse. If this hypothesis is correct, it would mean that either we are among the lucky few to have passed this filter, or the grim prospect that it still lies in our future. Another solution is the zoo hypothesis, which suggests that advanced civilizations are observing us, much like we observe animals in a zoo but have chosen not to make contact. Then there's the rare earth hypothesis, which posits that the conditions necessary for intelligent life are incredibly unusual in the universe, and Let's not forget the possibility that we're simply not listening correctly. Maybe extraterrestrial civilizations are communicating in ways we can't yet comprehend or detect. Each of these solutions has its own implications, and none can be definitively proven or disproven. 
The Fermi Paradox is a humbling reminder of how much we don't know about the universe and our place in it. It challenges us to continue exploring, to continue searching, to continue questioning. So the next time you look up at the night sky, consider the Fermi Paradox. Ponder the silence. Is it because we are alone? Or is it simply that we're not part of the cosmic conversation, yet? The Fermi Paradox, an extraterrestrial enigma that questions our place in the universe. For our final paradox, we delve into the world of time travel with the bootstrap paradox. Imagine, if you will, a time traveler who decides to take a journey into the past. In his pocket, he carries a book, a classic novel that he cherishes. He arrives in the past and meets a young author who has yet to pen his first novel. The time traveler, feeling generous, gives the book to the young author. Inspired, the author copies the book word for word and publishes it. Fast forward to the future, the time traveler picks up a copy of his favorite novel, the same one he will later take back to the past. This scenario introduces us to the bootstrap paradox, one of the most mind-bending concepts in the realm of time travel. But what exactly is a paradox? Simply put, it's a situation that contradicts itself, a loop with no discernible beginning or end. And that's precisely what's happening here. The book doesn't seem to have an origin. It's trapped in a continuous loop of cause and effect. So who wrote the book? The time traveler brought the book back, but the author wrote it. Yet the author only wrote it because he was given the book by the time traveler. It's a chicken and egg situation with no clear answer. But the bootstrap paradox doesn't just apply to physical objects like books. It can also involve information. Consider this. A scientist from the future travels back in time to meet her younger self. She gives her younger self the formula for a groundbreaking invention, which her younger self then goes on to develop. In the future, the scientist remembers receiving the formula from her older self and decides to travel back to pass it on. Again, we're left with a question. Where did the formula originally come from? If the scientist only developed it because her future self gave her the information, then who or what was the original source? The bootstrap paradox presents a fascinating, albeit perplexing challenge to our understanding of causality, the principle that everything has a cause and an effect. In the case of the bootstrap paradox, the cause and effect are tangled in such a way that they seem to be one and the same. It's a circular chain of events with no clear starting point. This paradox raises interesting questions about the nature of time and the universe. Could objects or information truly exist without a point of origin? If time travel were possible, would we be able to alter the past, or is the timeline rigid and unchangeable? In the world of theoretical physics, these questions remain largely unanswered. As it stands, the bootstrap paradox is a conundrum that continues to baffle scientists, philosophers and time travel enthusiasts alike. The bootstrap paradox, a time-twisting puzzle that challenges our understanding of causality. These paradoxes from ancient Greece to modern physics show us that our universe is full of mysteries waiting to be solved. Paradoxes, strange and perplexing as they might be, are vital tools that stretch the limits of our understanding and encourage us to question the world around us. They challenge us to think outside the box, to reevaluate our assumptions, and to delve deeper into the intricate workings of our universe. From Zeno's philosophical puzzle of motion to the bewildering bootstrap paradox, these conundrums serve as stepping stones, pushing us to delve deeper, to question more, to strive for answers, and in doing so, expand the horizons of human knowledge. They are reminders that the universe is vast and complex, and that there's still so much more to explore and understand. If you enjoyed this journey through paradoxes, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating content.